The Jama' El Jazar Project, a new mosque for Algiers, is located at the center of the Bay of Algiers, to the east of the historic city center, and directly adjacent to the Mediterranean Sea. The mosque complex is easily accessible by car from the motorway, which links the city center and the international airport, and from the south by the Boulevard Azus. The Jama' El Jazar complex as a whole comprises 12 separate buildings laid out on an elongated site of approximately 20 hectares with a gross floor area of over 400,000 square meters. The northern part of the site, parallel to the motorway, is formed by four squares aligned on an east-west Qibla axis. The program begins with more public open spaces to the west and more sacred, enclosed, in the direction of Mecca. These areas comprise the esplanade, the minaret with museum, the courtyard, and the prayer hall. The three buildings to the south, the conference center, the library, and the Dar el Quran, which run parallel to the Boulevard Azus, are linked by a park and contain the educational programs. Set in the topographical undulating park landscape to the east of the site are the buildings housing the Anarjima, the operation of the mosque complex, administration, as well as the fire station, director's villas, and the central technical facilities. Two existing buildings which act as living quarters and security facilities for attendance complete the new Jama' El Jazar city quarter. The implementation of renewable energy systems assures a response to the demands of a sustainable environment. Two levels of parking are located below ground, underneath the esplanade and the park. Ascending the light-filled stairwells, the visitor has direct access to the garden and the esplanade. The esplanade, the foyer to the sacred space of the mosque, accommodates a projection hall complex to the west and a U-shaped volume containing ateliers, restaurants, and retail stores to the east. A water basin animates the space of the esplanade and provides an open atmosphere where visitors can linger. The exterior roof of the esplanade buildings is supported by rows of floral-shaped octagonal columns and provides shading from the hot sun on the more intimate spaces of the roof terraces. The minaret, a dominant element of the esplanade, houses a museum of Algerian history, as well as a research center for history and science. The dynamic minaret is a result of a balancing of proportions between its volumes with respect to traditional minarets of Maghreb. The minaret is conceived through the use of the symbolic number five, the five pillars of Islam. The levels are grouped in ensembles of five floors, which are separated by glazed sky foyers. The glazed sky foyers serve as entrance foyer for the museum, as well as recreational and resting areas for visitors. The structure of the minaret is located on the periphery, therefore allowing for flexible use of space. Two panoramic elevators give exclusive access to the sky foyers and to the observation platforms. The observation platforms provide breathtaking 360-degree panoramic views over the Bay of Algiers and its surroundings. The research center occupies the upper 10 stories of the minaret it is here that the administration of the museum, the offices, and research facilities for the historians are housed. Spacious headroom of approximately four meters creates an ideal light-filled space 
for working with fascinating views at a dizzying height above ground. The floors of the museum are conceived without any structural columns, giving great flexibility for various exhibition concepts over a surface area of 300 square meters per floor. The museum is equipped in a didactic way, aiding in the discovery of history. The floors of the museum are linked internally by elevators and stairs abutting the facade which provide fascinating views. The facades framing the esplanade are made of an ornamental skin, which provides shading for the thermal glazed inner facade. Depending on the time of the year, this shading element can be open to the full height of the story, thereby providing interesting vertical shadow play on the recessed facade. From the shoe depot, the faithful leave the profane world and enter the sacred one of the courtyard. The courtyard, as is traditional, functions as an extension to the prayer hall. The rows of floral-shaped octagonal columns, like those of the esplanade, surround the central space of the courtyard, providing shade and filtering light. The courtyard is lined by two rectangular volumes to the north and south, which contain the rooms for the ritual cleansing. The ablution rooms are filled with light and air through the elongated openings. Additional ablutions are located in the basement level. The water from the ablution fountains is collected and recycled. The pools of water, the arcades running around the sides, and the translucent sunscreens produce a pleasant environment in the courtyard, even in the highest summer temperatures. The main access to the prayer hall, as in the courtyard, is through the main entry portal which follows the central Qibla axis. Its interior surfaces are richly decorated with stucco reliefs and a stone base. Moving through the barrel vaulted space of the main entry, the visitor enters the prayer hall underneath the mezzanine level with its structure ceiling and into a breathtaking space of soaring dimensions. The architectural language of the prayer hall follows the precedent of Columnar Moss of Maghreb and integrates modern engineering in the design of its seismic isolation. The sculptural upper walls of the prayer hall, rising from a calligraphic frieze, are formed by folds creating a dynamic surface of undulating light and shadow. Ornamental screens form the fields in between the column capitals on the ceiling and filter light within the prayer hall. The prayer hall is crowned with a majestic double-shelled cupola. The fluted interior shell has openings which filter in indirect natural light. The Mirab, the central focal point on the Qibla wall on the east axis, is framed with a calligraphic frieze and translucent stone. To its right is the minbar, which can mechanically ascend from one level below. The prayer hall has additional entrances to the north from the Estacade and from the park to the south. Leaving from the south vestibule of the prayer hall, the visitor strolls along the landscape park which interweaves the two geometries of the northern and southern buildings through its paved pathways. Walls of water and vegetation connecting the various buildings of the complex. The geometric design of the southwest garden is comprised of Islamic themed gardens. Its main walkways are highlighted by waterways. In contrast to the structured geometry of the Southwest Garden, the Southeast Garden is more free-flowing, following the natural topography of the site. South of the park, the cultural center, the library, and the Dar el-Koran form a complex of buildings with intersecting open spaces, 
that connect the Boulevard Azus with the park and allow access in the direction of the large mosque. The cultural center is formed by two volumes. The main volume contains the conference hall. The second, an L-shaped volume, contains the support activities to the conference hall, including an exhibition hall, multiple conference rooms, and management offices. A cafeteria offers an attractive view to the north of the park and mosque. The large multi-purpose hall accommodates around 1,500 visitors. In order to optimize the flexibility of the hall, the hall can be divided into two smaller rooms for 500 and 800 visitors by means of a double-layered mobile sound insulation wall. The buildings are connected by a roof supported by colonnades of floral-shaped columns, like those of the mosque. The library for one million works. At the core of the library is an open three-story reading room. This atrium space is dominated by decorated wall paneling and custom-designed furniture for the display of books and media. The L-shaped portion of the library will house special collections, the audio and film libraries, and the administrative areas. The library includes an open garden set a level lower, which allows natural light into the building. The Dar el Quran is a doctoral school for 300 postgraduate students in social sciences and religion. This ensemble is comprised of two L-shaped volumes surrounding a garden. The first volume contains a conference room, classrooms, a library, a dining hall, as well as administrative offices. The second volume is dedicated to dormitory rooms for 300 postgraduates. The fire station, the Anarjema Administration Building, Housing and Technical Center, which services the entire complex, are located in the distance to the eastern edge of the site and are situated in an undulating landscape within the park. The Salon d'Honneur, a space for VIPs provides a gathering space for multi-purpose functions. Its surfaces are embellished with marble inlay. The focal point is a central stair made of stone, which gently brings a visitor to the second story. The Imam Garden. A covered outdoor foyer space links the Salon d'Honneur to the Imam area. The Imam area contains a library, reception, and the Imam offices. A heliport is integrated in the northeast corner of the park. At night, the cupola of the prayer hall shimmers in the night sky. The Sama, a light tower, 
with a classic cupola is encased with a transparent glazed hood, also powerfully illuminated by night. Jama El Jazar, a landmark embedded into the existing context, a new pearl in the Bay of Algiers.